Hello my fellow garden gals and guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Serenity Now Garden. My name's Jeannie and I garden in central Minnesota in the zone 4B. So I'm gonna do a hosta tour today. I'm just gonna take you around my garden, show you all my hostas. Most of them are pretty new within the last two to three years. Um, a lot of my hostas I also got on clearance, so they may be mislabeled. So if you notice any hostas that maybe have the wrong name, and you know the right one, please leave me a comment in the comment section with a timestamp and it would be much appreciated. Thanks guys, take care, happy gardening. Okay, my fellow hosta lovers, thanks for joining me for this hosta tour. So we're gonna start at my front door here. And around the corner, there is a hosta blue angel. This is the hosta that is on my thumbnail. It is massive. I don't know how long this has been here. It was here when I moved in about five or six years ago. Haven't split it or anything. Isn't it just gorgeous? I almost thought this was Empress Wu, but um, I'm pretty sure it's blue angel. But let me know what you think. Look at the size of these leaves. They got a little ripped up from my string trimmer, unfortunately. Huge. The flowers are so pretty and pollinators love these flowers, so I keep them on. They're like a white with the tiniest bit of lavender to them. Okay, yeah, so that is Blue Angel. And excuse my hose there, I'm just, it's been so hot, so I've been watering a ton. But look at this hosta here. This is called Undulata. This is a mini hosta, or it'll stay short, so it is perfect for in front of a window like it is there. That was also here when I moved in, so for all I know, these could be 15, almost 20 years old. I just don't know. Here's my side yard. I'm going to show you a couple hostas down here. It's like a clematis arbor to go through. Now this side yard I just put in two years ago, so everything's pretty new. We have more of like a rock garden on the right, and we have various plants on the left. I'm trying to get to fill in to, for some privacy. That's the neighbor's chain link fence there. Those sedums will bloom in a couple of weeks. I cannot wait. We have some yarrow blooming on the left. and some hydrangeas. Now these plants right against the wall, I believe are Hasta Franci, but I'm not positive. They were here when I moved in. But look at this little Hasta, this is a mini. This is called Blue Mouse Ears. Isn't that so pretty? I love the flowers on this one. Normally, you know, hosta flowers are just okay, but this one is just gorgeous. This was really tiny when I put it in last year, so it is like tripled in size in just one year. So at the bottom of this hill is where I put most of my new hostas. It's a new hosta bed. I have one more mouse ear on the right. Right behind that blue spruce sedum, you could see the flowers there. But it's doing pretty good, and it's a very dry area, so I'm surprised. So there's a maple tree really close here, and so this area stays very dry. I'm not sure what this hosta is called. I believe it might be Forbidden Fruit, but it was from Walmart, and it did not have a name on the tag, unfortunately. I can't stand when Walmart does that. This hosta I just put in earlier this year. This is a dancing queen. This is the most brilliant gold hosta. I love it with the frilly edges. It really brightens up an area and it'll get a few feet across. Highly recommend that. I am not sure what this one is called. I believe it might be Captain Kirk, but it was in the clearance section, so it could be wrong. So let me know if you know. Right next to it, this is, I think, my favorite hosta this year. This is called Dancing with Dragons. Isn't it just gorgeous, that ice blue with the frilly edges? It's just, it, I think it's my favorite right now. Right behind it, we have Designer Jeans. It has red petioles, I believe they're called, the stems. 
and it's a brilliant gold. I love it. It's new as well, so it'll really fill in there. These I put in last year. Some of my favorites. This is Maui Buttercups. Isn't it just so cute? All gold. It's still small. It'll grow. It'll grow in a little bit more, but it it's like a small to medium hosta. This one is Island Breeze. It also has red petioles. I don't know if you could see them there, but it's a really cool variegated hosta. I just love it. And this is Seducer. It's a Proven Winners from the Shadowlands series hosta. It was really small when I got it last year, so... Look how tall it stands. It's really cool. I, it only had like two leaves on it last year, so this is actually an improvement. Very big leaves. Right next to it is Liberty. Everybody needs a Liberty in their garden, I think. This is a gorgeous hosta when it first emerges in the spring, too. It's just really eye-catching. It'll fill in a couple feet across, so I love that hosta. So that's Hosta Liberty. And I apologize, the sun is kind of washing out some of the color here, but this is August Moon. A gold hosta that's really pretty, like a medium size. We just have a couple small ones over here I just put in. This one is a Minuteman hosta, so it'll have like a white variegated edge. This one was clearance. It was marked as cherry berry, but it's definitely not cherry berry. So if you guys know, let me know. And this one was Queen Josephine. This will get like 40 or 45 inches across. Yeah, unfortunately, some of those clearance ones, you just never know what they are. This, I believe is a fragrant bouquet, but I'm not positive. It was another one that I moved from another area. I believe I got it at Walmart. Looks like a fragrant bouquet, but there's also other houses that kind of look like that. And doesn't it look good next to the Sun King Aralia and the Pink Dragon Lamium? It's good to shade companion plants there. This is just a tiny little Francis Williams. Can't really see it. I'll show you some big ones I have in back. that You could see a bit better. And it's just next to some Brennera, a good companion plant as well. There's the Hasta Francie. You'll see that Francie all over my garden. And I'm like I said, I'm not positive it's called Francie, but we'll just refer to that. This is a Coast to Coast. It's also a Proven Winners in the Shadowland series Hasta. So it's a very brilliant gold. This is Abiqua Drinking Gourd. You could see the... Leaves are kind of, um, it, well, it's collecting water there even. It looks like a little gourd cup. This is first frost, which is actually a sport of halcyon. So it's got that brilliant blue of halcyon. It's pretty new. And right next to it, we have golden tiara. So this doesn't get a lot of sun, so it kind of stays this color. But very prolific, a very tough plant. It's under a maple here and just... The roots are very shallow, so I would say it's doing pretty good for being right next to that maple. This is an elegance, Seboldiana elegance. Last year it only had two or three leaves, so look at the size. And these are tough leaves. I believe they're slug resistant. So it should fill in this whole area right here. It's a giant hosta. And just next to it here is also a giant hosta. This one's called First Snow. This could get up to 80 inches across, believe it or not. Probably won't here because it's under a maple, but I do water these every other day. Another Francie. And I apologize for my shadow and the light. I had to do this video today. This one is a rainforest sunrise. Isn't that gorgeous? It's actually a sport of Maui buttercups, but it has the green edge. It'll stay kind of small, just a foot and a half across. This is Montana, Ario Marginata. I love the size of these leaves. They're pointed. It'll get big. This is Brother Stefan. This is a new one early this year, so it really hasn't filled in 
But look at these leaves. I just love the coloring. And once it fills in, it's just going to look great. Behind it here, I believe this is guacamole. This is another old one that I moved from another area that I believe I got at Walmart. And I apologize that it's so sunny right now. We're expecting hail tonight, so I definitely wanted to get this video in. This is Crossa Regal. This will get large. I just love the vase shape, and it's like a bluish. Very pretty. This one is Rainbow's End. It looks like striped. It's one of the first to emerge in the spring. And mine gets a fair amount of sun, so it looks maybe a little more gold. This one is a Ben Vernoy. This is new, so it's still quite small, but I just love the variegation on the edges. And more Fran Seed. Now back here, I have these. I believe they might be some in substance, but I'm not positive. I had three plants. I split them into eight, and I kind of just dotted them all back here. And this is still be bed. There's some viburnum. There's a really pretty Halcyon Hosta there. I love the blue in the Halcyon Hostas. So gorgeous. And that was a clearance plant. It is a Patriot Hosta. So it was like $2. It'll look good next year. Right next to this Firelight Hydrangea. More Francie and more Stilby over here. Another Summon Substance, I think, back there. I just split these last year, those Summon Substance, so they're, they're pretty large already. More Stilby. More Francie. I have over 100, I think, of those Francies because I split them so much. This one next to it, I believe, is a Fragrant Bouquet. Not positive. And I apologize, I do need to weed back here. It's just that time of year. I'm just waiting for it to cool down a bit because it has been hot. Looks great next to these sun Aralias back here. There is a blue angel right there. So that'll get huge, like the one in the beginning that I showed you. I did sprinkle some Melorganite back here. So some of these are kind of dusted with Melorganite. You'll see kind of a brown tinge, unfortunately. This is orange marmalade. It is so pretty. It is one of the last to emerge in the spring. This is the second year, but I really needed gold in this area because it, it just needed some brightening up. There's an ivory halo dogwood back here. And Francis Williams on the left and a Francie on the right. There's also three more Francis Williams back here. Aren't these just gorgeous? These are tough, too. They're, the leaves are really thick. I just split these last year. They are very small, so these are going to get a lot bigger. There's another. And this is a stained glass hosta, which is actually a sport of guacamole. I also needed gold in this area because there's some ajuga right behind it that's quite dark. So I just needed to brighten this area up. So stained glass, so pretty. It'll fill in a bit there. I just put that in last fall. There's a Halcyon hidden in there. This is a path that I put in down here with all the Francies. I split these up. I had like eight plants that I split up into like almost 50. <laughs> Maybe like 25. But I lined this whole path last year. They were just tiny. I do need to keep this sprayed with liquid fence because there's a lot of deer back here. I just put in this shaded area. So there's not a whole lot in here yet. I want to get this filled up. I put in two Dancing Queens because I really needed that gold. And I feel like Dancing Queens are the brightest 
of all the hasta. What do you guys think? There's two there, and I also put some sunken aralias in the back to brighten the area up as well. These are first year, so they're quite small. Okay, we're coming back on the path towards the house now. I put a ton of clearance plants in these beds over the last two years. These are mostly new. This used to be all buckthorn invasive. We had it all removed, and I'm just slowly planting these up. This is a full sun area. It gets the really hot afternoon sun, so I did not put any hosta back here. I just want to kind of go across here just so you can kind of see what my yard looks like. Behind this formal bed, there is an informal cut flower and veggie garden. These delphiniums survived like 30, 35 mile an hour wind gusts yesterday, so they're doing pretty well. I have some gonfrina, gonfrina, ping pong purple gonfrina lining this path to the garden here. Needs some water. It's been so hot. But behind that, this is my only full sun hasta. Now this hasta is a fragrant bouquet. It's huge. It gets the hot afternoon sun. And this area stays a bit moist, so that's why it can take it, I believe. But come August, or if we're in a severe drought, the edges will get a bit crisp on some of the leaves. But isn't it gorgeous? I just, I don't even want to move it because I just love looking at it every year. I could see it from my window. It looks good with these elderberries back here, the gold elderberries. I have these uh, fiber optic button bushes, they look so cool. They really attract the pollinators too. And yeah, the golds just look so good next to the purple flowers too. I have some Veronica right behind it, so I love this hasta. It's a fragrant bouquet. This is just an island. There's um, some maple trees up here, so it stays pretty dry. But I do have Francie in here, of course, and two new hostas that I want to show you. This first one is Twin Cities Hosta. I had to get it because I live in a suburb of Minneapolis. And this was on clearance. So let me know if you think that is Twin Cities as well. It could have been mislabeled. Right behind it, we have Earth Angel. So this is a sport of Blue Angel, but it has the gold variegation around the edge, the margins of the leaves. So this will get very big. I love it. I have a little bit of liquid fence on it, but. So there's the backyard. I'm gonna take you back up the side yard and I'm gonna show you my front yard. I have a few up there that I put in last spring. So this is my retaining wall here. These hostas in the retaining wall are just all green. And they were here when I first moved in. So I'm not sure how old they are. But I just keep them there. They're late to flower. I have a couple. This is like an informal area that I don't keep well manicured. But I have a couple here that I got on sale that I'll show you. This one's Fire Island. It has the red petioles as well. I love that it's so vibrantly gold. It does get a little white looking if it gets too much sun. This is a forbidden fruit. I have these all over because I got these on sale for like three or four dollars each. This is a sunshine glory that will get giant. And that's a blue Hawaii. Fairly new, so it's still kind of small, but I'll show you another blue Hawaii further up front that's gorgeous. This one, I believe, is a pilgrim hasta. So we're going to go down my side yard here, just to the right of my driveway. This is all a shade bed. So it has sun king aralias and hostas and ferns and a stilby. 
I don't know the names of all of them, especially that tiny one in the center, but I know that one right here is definitely a forbidden fruit, which is actually a sport of orange marmalade. And I love how some of the leaves stand like straight up so you could see it from afar. There's Halcyon right next to the Sun King. Couple Francis in back of that. I love this next hosta. Now this area has a lot of maple roots too, so it stays dry. But So this one's still kind of small, but this is Autumn Frost. It is the Proven Winners Shadowland Series hosta. I love it. I'm going to get another and put it in another area to see how big it can get to get to its full potential. This is a Pilgrim right next to, I believe that's another Halcyon, and a Forbidden Fruit in back. This is another Fire Island, so you can see it gets a little more lime green if it doesn't get as much sun. We got more Francie. I believe that's a Captain Kirk. This one, Francis Williams. This is what a Francis Williams looks like. It doesn't get hardly any sun. I think this is a Captain Kirk, but I'm not positive. This was Clarence, so let me know what you think. Another Forbidden Fruit right behind it there. In this area, we got a Stillby, Jacob's Ladder. This is a really pretty hosta. This is a June hosta. I'm going to get another and put it in another area where it can really thrive. And this one here, this is Blue Hawaii. This is only a second year, so it's really thriving under kind of hard conditions. A lot of Creeping Jenny behind that. Another Pilgrim, I believe. And that's a Rainforest Sunrise, just like in back. It's got the green margins. Look at that variegated Jacob's Ladder right there. I love putting these next to hostas because they could take some shade. This one is called Dream Queen. Got the stripe down the center. Very pretty. Only second year, so it really needs to grow in. Love it. More Jacob's Ladder, some geranium. This one is called Brim Cup. I just got it, so it's very small, but it's pretty. It's got like goldish, ivory-ish margins. And this one, I believe, is a guacamole. Got that from Walmart. You just never know with Walmart. <laughs> but I love it. I love it next to the Creeping Jenny. And more Francie. We got some gold ajuga there and another forbidden fruit. I just love that forbidden fruit. So I hope you guys liked that. Let me know in the comment section what are some of your most favorite hostas. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Happy gardening.